Hey guys, welcome to a new guide video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to play Katarina mid. A ability sequence on this champion is Q max first because that is your range, damage and poke. It's also what you use to farm in the early stages of the laning phase. Then you max out your E second, that is your mobility and then your W last. So Katarina is all about playing around her daggers. Um, so basically when now you use your Q or W then this uh, dagger will drop and when you step on it then it will deal damage in an AoE, okay? So basically most of the damage is in this uh, dagger here. So that's what you have to play around. But in the early stages you have to be really passive because this is a champion that has a pretty bad laning phase against most matchups. So your goal is pretty much to farm towards that he uh, Hextech Gunblade and once you have that then you can start really carrying the game. Onto that we just have to chill for a bit, do not try to force too much. And also don't take too much uh, damage in the landing phase because it just makes it much harder for you to farm. So he is playing really passive right now. Uh, the goal against range matchups is not to take uh, damage at all. Of course you can't avoid... The goal is just to dodge the abilities uh, they throw. Uh, you just basically just stay far back and give up CS if you have to. Just make sure that you stay within XP range. Go. Right, there we go, that's pretty good. There's two abilities, that's fine. We just have to farm. We really want this wave to crash into the tower if possible, but it's also risky for us to push. Brand is really strong early game. He's not pushing either. Okay. But it's really risky for me to take the stagger here, but he is pushing into us now, so that's really good. So when you trade for people, you want to make sure that you hit as many daggers as possible. And you also want to make sure that your E resets whenever you engage, so you can keep chasing people or get out again. The goal is to stack your conqueror as fast as possible, and then you can really start dealing a lot of damage while also sustaining. It's a pretty nice one. I could go in here, but as you can see, there's a huge wave coming in. It will mean I will take a lot of damage. We need to trim this wave a bit, um, because as it is right now, we can't really trade. Because minions deal a lot of damage early on. Oh, that's going to hurt. Brand has a lot of damage early on. We do have sustain though, so it should be fine. He does have the Dark Harvest as well, it's interesting. Just farm. It's really easy to last it on the tower since we start with the Longsword. And it also builds into the Hextech on Blade so we can get that item early as well. So, so far so good. We are ahead in CS. Um, honestly that doesn't happen in a lot of games. Um, you will probably be behind like 10, 12 CS normally. But even that is fine. The goal is just not to die and get poked out of lane. Trying to match his wave clear a bit. I'm gonna use my last pot here. He is playing really scared right now. He doesn't have to. Like he can play way, way more aggressive if he wanted to. Okay, that's that one, that's good. So now we are level 6. So now we unlock a full combo. Uh, whenever you use your ultimate, you make sure that there's a dagger on the ground because if they flash away from your ultimate, your E will still reset when you take the dagger. So you still have a gap closer available. So make sure that whenever you ultimate, your E, um, 
your dagger is already on the ground. Alright, so we're gonna get this one here. More sustain, it also adds a little bit of burst damage with the active. Honestly, in matchups like these, it's really good to have uh, boots early on because this is a pretty much a skill skill shot matchup. Friend is missing. He probably recalled. Of course, getting this um, colors here makes it much easier for you to last it on the tower as well. Oh, he did not reset his roaming. Okay, that's a very interesting decision. Looks like it did work out though. Let's see if we can help them in time. And maybe we can take out Nasus. Let's see here. I'm not sure what he has up. This is probably water though. Now we can go in here. Alright, let's get up. This is super worth it. There we go. Alright. Of course, your passive um, resets all your abilities by 15 seconds. So that means all your normal abilities will be instant reset. So as soon as you get a kill, then abilities will be up and you'll be able to engage again or just run away. So that's why Katarina is really good in this meta because she snowballs so well. Just early game, she struggles a lot in pretty much every matchup. Alright, let's back off now. We just need this item here and then we can start playing really aggressive. See, I can get this one, but actually I'm gonna go for the boots because it makes it much easier for me to dodge the skill shots as well. We already are hit by almost 20 CS because his roam was, was not good at all. That's a big mistake he did is that he did not show the wave in first. Even though it ended up giving him a couple kills then... It's really not worth it because he lost so much XP. And I got a double kill out of it as well so it's even better for us. Just use that passive to farm. Makes it really easy to wave clear as well, so that's good. So now when you trade, you want to make sure that you hit that passive dagger, because if you don't, then you're going to lose a lot of damage, and make sure that you get an auto tag in between um, trades as well, because it's going to help stacking up that conqueror. So you get access to that sustain and fully stacked uh, passive faster. Thing here. I'm just gonna place a ward here so I can see if it recalls or not. See, if I didn't have boots here, then I would have taken that hit, W. And of course, we need to watch out for Brand early on. There we go. That's how you do it. This time, I did not um, get reset with my... Um, Daggers, so that's a mistake. That's something you had to keep in mind. But if you can get the kill, then it's fine. Then it doesn't really matter. But for example, if he managed to get away, then I could not have done anything at all because I would not have my E reset. Just take one plate here and then we can back off. Right, that's great. You have to remember that he spawns really fast because um, he gets that home guard boost. Oh, top lane is not looking good. So now we have it. The Hextech Gunblade. That is a core item on Katarina. Um, now is when she spikes. And everybody really has to be careful of this champion because this adds a lot of burst. The slow is also something that makes it really easy for you to land the daggers. But people can't really escape from your spells. And the sustain is also insane. Like, it's almost impossible to burst her. Too easy. 
Can we get this guy? Probably not. We're still gonna chase him though. Maybe we can get him. We'll see. I'm waiting for my cooldowns. There we go. Of course, guys, um, there are different ways you can engage, but mainly what you want to do is when you're within range, use your E first, then use your W, and then you can use your ultimate with your um, Hextech on blade. It basically makes sure that when you engage, you will always have Shunpu up. So it makes it impossible for the enemies to get away, even if the flash, because you always have a mobility spell up. We can pretty much go for another all in here. He is pretty low as well. He's two levels behind now because solo kill XP gives so much experience. Let's just push this. So that's how you push it. Just use your double daggers here and you can clear, clear the waves instantly. So if you want to roam, you can do that as well. I have a lot of gold, so I want to bag off, of course. So this game right here, I will of course build towards a uh, Morel Nomicon, just for the Grievous Wounds because they have a Yumi. Nasus also heals for a lot and he's going Red Cane. Because he has the Congruor, so that's what I assume at least. Even though I have Grievous Wounds on my ultimate, it's not enough. It's nowhere enough, um, so Morel Nomicon is going to help out a lot. Of course you can get that second item, um, but you always want to make sure that you also get a Sonya's Hourglass, because in every fight you will be straight in the middle of it. So having that extra safety is really important. Not trying to poke me? Okay. See here, he's not walking up. Um, it's really risky for him to walk up, because he is a immobile champion against Karina. Okay, let's see if we can help bot lane. So if you can't find kill smith, just run bot guys. That's all you have to do. Okay, they're dying, so it probably means they'll keep chasing. Then we can do something maybe. Okay, this guy here. Please stop him. Oh yeah, okay, he eat out. Okay, that's fine. I was hoping for a triple kill here, but that's actually pretty good. Normally you have to show out your way guys before you roam because else it would mean you lose a lot of experience points and it's really not optimal because you'll fall behind in levels. But I am so far ahead that it doesn't really matter at this point. And this is basically what Karina does. Now I can buy this uh, mask here. Uh, what's it called? The Oblivion Orb, I mean. Um, so now we have Magic Pen, and it's really good in the early stages of the game because people have no magic resistance items, and that's when it's really strong. Of course, it's going to help out a lot with your burst as well. Oh no, he's going to die top probably. Does he have Flash up? He's going to get one shot. There's the Herald here. Yeah, I'm not sure what my team is doing mid lane. Okay, let's see if we can help him. Just need to watch out for his Q here, so he doesn't get one shot. Okay, nice. Coming. You can use your W to get that extra speed. Oh, wow. There we go. Clear this out. He's placing the Herald. Alright, just gonna stay topside. I hope they can uh, defend mid. We're just gonna clear out the next wave as well and hopefully make this Herald crash into the tier 2 just for that extra damage. Alright, see if somebody's coming here. Not look like it. Okay, I assume they're moving up now. Maybe you might be able to turn this into a couple kills, we have to see. Okay, now we need to back off here, cause the entire team is coming, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, that is a lot. Okay, that's fine. So we got the exhaust out, she just instantly exhausts me. 
That's fine. Can they get something for it? Okay, we get the mid tower, so that's fine. I did give away a shutdown. That's not really good, but... It doesn't matter too much. We are going to focus down the objectives, because that's how you finish the game. Nice. Okay. Got a kill in return. That's fine. Jax is split pushing bot side. Um, I'm not sure if he... I don't think he can take that tower on time. He's probably going to get ganked soon by 3 to 4 members. Fine. Ness is also dead I assume. Okay, looks like he flashed, that's fine. Alright, see if we can help this guy here. Of course, Karina, you have to be really patient when you engage. Because any hard CC can mess you up uh, pretty easily. Help me, bro. Okay, he almost slipped and died there. <laughs> of course, you have to understand how much you heal and stuff. Um, it will allow you to die people easily. Once you get to Sonya's Hourglass, then she becomes that much safer. New Hugum? Oh, sucks. Okay. Just get the tower and then we have to back off. Alright, let's get out of here. Now we get, get the Mortal Nomicon. Next item should always be uh, Sonya's Hourglass because as I said earlier, you will be in the middle of the team when you fight because you are melee range, so you always be um, vulnerable to CC and ultimates and stuff and even exhaust and when you get hit by those, it's really good to have the Sonya's Hourglass so you can save yourself some time. And it'll basically allow your teammates to catch up and then your abilities will be off cooldown again, so you'll be able to escape or even re-engage. Alright, so dragon spawning 40, 48 seconds. Portland tower is almost gone. So when I'm hit, what I like to do is that I just pop this oracle lens here and then I try to clear out as much vision as possible. So hopefully one of the carries end up face checking and then I can get a couple kills uh, from that. Let's get a control bot here. I really want this tower. Alright, there we go. I'm not sure if she has an exhaust up, but I I think she has. Israel is pretty strong. He doesn't have his um, Muramana yet, but he did complete his two core items. And we can't really shove it in here, so I'm going to push another wave in. Maya, they're getting caught. That's not good. Can't really engage from this point here because I don't have my Sonya Sourglass up, so if I get CC'd once, then I'm just going to die. I'm going to walk around. So Nasus for the Yumi, that's not good. Oh, ouch. That's why you need Sonya's Hourglass, so you can survive those situations. Now we will start building towards it, of course. That's why when you uh, play in the lower ranks, like Iron to High Platinum, then it really happens a lot that when you go to the side lane, then people just end up getting caught. So try to hover around the lanes if possible, so you don't stay AFK in the side lane, but you're always ready to move as well. Kill this one, get some vision here. So we do have the um, 
Herald. We can use that to break the base. We just need to group now. Oh wow, this is not good. If they get fit with a Yumi, then it's really impossible for us to do anything, because this champion is just OP, straight up OP. It's so hard to punish the Yumi, especially if she wants to NS or something, then we can't really do a lot. Do we get his flash out? Here we do. Come here. Come here, Yumi. I need to get out. Help me, guys. Can I get a kill? There we go, nice. The Baron is up, we should actually take it. It's kind of weird though, that since this patch, um, I can't really see the uh, logo for the Baron, like the icon on the minimap. I'm not sure why. Probably a bug, but. Okay, Jax is taking uh, the uh, inhibitor. That's good. Alright, now we have a Sonya Sour Glass, so now it's much safer for us to just uh, straight out dive the enemy team. We can bait out a lot of abilities, for example, the um, Kane Ultimate. here so what are they going to they're not buying any MR yet I'm still going with the white stuff because I expect them to buy MR soon because they realize I have a lot of damage and I'm also super fit of course they have to buy MR if they don't then I'll just one shot everybody so at this stage it's really good to buy this white stuff here Okay, he did not get the inhibitor, so let's take that down. Just gonna group with the team. You don't want to split too much in these silos because, as you saw earlier, people just end up getting caught and then it just results in trolls, and we don't really want that. There we go, and we baited out all of that. And we get out safely. I would have died here if I did not have my Sonya Sour Glass up. Of course guys, Karina is really all about knowing the limits of this champion. Uh, she has a lot of different combos and stuff, different ways to engage. But she's very vulnerable to CC, so you really have to be patient. Wait until they use the important abilities and then you can go in. Go, go down. Maybe we can end here. Let's see. Probably not. Maybe we can take this tower. We'll see. Wow, I can't move at all. I don't want to hit him with the brand passive. There we go. Take this tower at least. Nice. There we go. Well done, guys. That's pretty much how you play Karina, guys. Uh, I hope this did help out. And if you have any questions, then of course, feel free to ask. And I'll try my best to help out. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.